Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to use the supplier database tool inside of Jungle Scout to find legitimate global suppliers used by the world's best brands. The supplier database is the most reliable way to find a supplier, so I'm gonna show you now four unique ways to find suppliers to manufacture your product idea. Let's get started. Under suppliers, you'll see the supplier database. The purpose of this tool is to either find or verify suppliers. The way that we do this is by collecting free information on all shipments that are imported into the United States and the suppliers that are doing so. So you can see exactly how many shipments a supplier has sent into the US, which gives you an idea of their size and authenticity if they've done a lot of shipments. And if they haven't got much on record, then they may not be as credible or at least as experienced as you might like. Number one is by product. You can search four different ways. The first is by product. Here you see the supplier, the total shipments and customers. Under top customers, you'll see some of the companies that have been using this supplier. As we scroll down, you might see companies that you recognize. So for instance, this is the supplier for Samsonite. And again, down here, you'll recognize Target. Here, you see a breakdown of the types of products that have been declared through customs. You can search for these suppliers and you know that they're legitimate and experienced. If you click view more, you'll see all the shipments in the past two years and when they occurred. Number two is by company. So for example, if I wanted to sell a yoga mat, I could look at some competitors and try to locate their company name. This will often be their store name or brand name. So let's try Gaim. If we search for that, we find Gaim Incorporated you'll see all of the top suppliers that they use. Again, you can use this to either find good suppliers to reach out to yourself or validate existing ones that you might have already found on Alibaba or elsewhere. Number three is by supplier. A good way to do the latter is to come back to our third search option and type in a company that you've found. So for example, here's a yoga mat company that I found on Alibaba. It says that they're five years old and North America is one of their main markets. So let's copy their name here and paste it into the supplier database. Shanghai Topco Industrial. Looks like their name is spelled slightly differently, but let's look at the address. Oriental Pearl. Then if we come over to contacts, we can see that it's actually the same address. So this supplier here has got well over a hundred shipments recorded, a lot of customers, including Amazon themselves. So this would verify them in my own mind. Number four is by ASIN. The final way to perform a search within supplier database is by doing an ASIN search. An ASIN is just a unique identifier that Amazon gives to every product within its catalog. So for example, on this listing, the way to find the ASIN is to scroll down the page until we find product details, then come across to the ASIN and copy this one. Come back to Supplier Database, select ASIN Search, and then paste this one in and search. This is a great way to find out which suppliers your competitors are using. You'll see that Supplier Database has identified the brand of this product and then also the company or legal entity that is selling it. Then down below, you'll see all of the suppliers they have worked with, and then you can click on each one to find out more information about each down here. Once you find suppliers from any of these searches that you like, then you just come across to the right and click on the save button, come down to create new group. If you haven't got one already, click create and add. Once saved there, those suppliers come across to the supplier tracker. Here you see a group that I've previously created. If we come over here, we can add a brand new group. I can now go back to supplier database to find more suppliers for this group. So let's go back to the existing group that I have here. You see that I've got three suppliers listed or saved within this particular group. If I open up one of them, you see all of the same information that was displayed back in supplier database. Additionally, I can come over to these extra fields. So you have quotes. Now I've got the option of adding a quote. Here, I can give it a name. Let's just say I call it the name of the supplier. I can select a date. I can enter in a unit costs. Let's just say that it's $4 and they're giving me this quote on 500 units. 
Optionally, you can add in weight as well as any other costs that they might include. Further down, you can add in lead time, which is how long it takes to get from the supplier to you or to Amazon in the US. Under that, you've got the option to add a description. So this is any other notes related to this particular quote. I can now add in the sample cost because perhaps that might be $50 for that individual sample. That's a fairly common thing. And then there may be additional shipping costs or that might be included within the sample cost. Once I'm completed, I can hit save quote. The next field that's displayed here is samples. Here I can now add a sample after I've received it. I'm gonna select the quote that has been previously created. And now I can give it a star rating out of five in terms of how good I thought this particular sample was. So let's say I give it a three. I can add in any notes. Importantly, you can add a photo, which is something that I highly recommend and then click save sample. Next up, we have purchase orders. Here I can create a purchase order. I can give this a particular number if I choose. This is just for your own record keeping. You can select of course the date. It pre-fills their contact name and their supplier address. Input your name and you input all of these other details. I'm just gonna do a real quick example here. You can add in the ASIN, add in a description, quantity of units, any other costs, unit costs. If you have any specific agreements, it's worth entering them here too. If you click here, we give you an entire template that you can use and modify for your own purchase order. Add a supplier message and then any internal notes. Keep in mind, this isn't gonna be visible on the purchase order. These notes are just for your own viewing. Now over here, you're going to add in a shipping address. Now I can generate a purchase order. I can now download that one and that generates a PDF that you can now send off to your supplier. It's all formatted and looks really professional. It includes all the terms and agreements and any other messages that you would like to convey to your supplier. So this is a really great way to create a professional looking purchase order for your supplier. The final field over here is notes. And this is really just a nice and easy way to add in any notes regarding that particular supplier. So as you see with all of these details entered in for all three suppliers that I've got here, you can imagine that this is a very nice and easy way to compare all of the most important details between these different suppliers in order to help you choose the right one for you. And that's how you use the supplier database and tracker. I hope this tutorial has helped you get started using it so that you can find and keep track of verified suppliers. Now go ahead and try this out for yourself by clicking the link down in the description to sign up for Jungle Scout. Did you know that Jungle Scout offers way more tools than just supplier database and that all the tutorials are located right here in this playlist? Make sure you check out the next video on how to use your Jungle Scout tools.